Thomas, congratulations. You've just retained Dr. Kristen McNorgan to license NCP for hemostemics. So let's start with that. Let's tell our audience what NCP is, please. Yes, NCP is a neuronal cell precursor. It's a nerve cell that is a nerve stem cell, and it is generated from the patient's own blood. So it's the patient's own DNA. The body recognizes that, and it uses the body's natural signaling processes to home to the site of injury, embed at the site of injury, and regenerate the site of injury on a neuronal cell basis. Well, of course, many of you out there may be going, what? <laughs> what exactly does that mean? So talk to us. You know, we're all capital market investors. Yeah. Um, can you give us an example of a major player in this market that this particular uh, application might be best used with? Yes. So Neuralink is a great example of a company that is implanting electrodes in the brains of quadriplegics to give them the ability to use a personal computer. In, in NCP's case, what NCP will do, as, as we know, when the body receives something that is foreign to it, its natural instinct is to reject it. What NCP promises to do is home to the site of injection, embed at the site of injection, and improve the signaling processes uh, of, of that site of injection. So it promises to increase the signaling capability at that site of injection, of implant. And of course, so if I'm reading this correct, Dr. Chris McNorgan putting his stamp of approval on this really says a lot. Is that correct? Yes, because he has spent the last 20 years looking at how we as human beings process reading, writing, and arithmetic. He has a, uh, an AI background as well. And so he's really well suited to bridge the, the divide between hemostemics, NCP, and Neuralink's uh, implant. And when you look at uh, Dr. McNorgan, Dr. Henderson is a neurosurgeon. And so we've, we've got a, a very well-developed team that includes neurosurgery to define uh, you know, what is going on at the neurosurgical level, uh, how NCP will react at that level. And uh, we've got also Dr. Ina Sorrell, who is the mother of invention of NCP itself on the team. So where are you in this process if someone wants to license, license the NCP from hemostemics? We're, we're wide open uh, to licensing discussions. Uh, we think that it, it you know, makes most sense for us to uh, partner with companies like Neuralink to get this product to market as, as soon as possible. You asked for an example, and let me give you an example of NCP in a uh, in a preclinical model. So NC, this is very exciting stuff because you know stroke is something that we we all suffer from uh, it, 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 perhaps in in our lifetime. And um, we did a, an animal model in, in at the Prague Stem Cell Institute. And NCP was injected uh, three different ways into these animals. These are color-coded NCP cells. And so they were injected into the skin, into the muscle, and into the vein. And the, regardless of the method of injection, more than 90% of the NCP color-coded cells ended up at the site of stroke, embedded at the site of stroke, and were found to be regenerating neuronal factors that would repair the site of stroke. And so that is a very interesting way to explain how Neuralink's implant will, will um, how NCP will respond to Neuralink's implant. So another very intriguing news release announcement from 
your Fountain of Youth, trademarked hemostemics. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thomas. Thanks very much, Tracy.